Greetings everyone. My name is Abin I am the physics instructor at Lebao International Academy. Today, I'm going to present to you the physics of injera in relationship with electricity. This is a part of the injera project done by our students. The objectives of this presentation are to describe the effects of electric current, to explain about factors affecting the resistance of a conductor, and finally to do a course integration and a curriculum plus on energy consumption of electric injera metal. The heating effect of electric current. Electric current is defined as the flow of electric charges in a conductor due to the potential difference between its seeds. There are three different effects of electric current. These are the magnetic effect, the heating effect, and the chemical effect. When electric current passes through a conductor, there is a considerable friction between the moving electrons and the molecules of the conductor. The electrical energy supplied to the conductor to overcome this electrical friction is converted into heat, and this is known as the heating effect of electric current. You know, this is the same reason why mobile phones tend to go hot when we play a game on them. The heating effect of electric current is utilized in manufacturing of many heating appliances such as electric heater, electric kettle, electric toaster, and electric iron. The basic principle of this appliance is the same. Electric current is passed through a high resistance heating element, thus producing the required heat. The heating element may be neither a nichrome wire or ribbon wound on some insulating material that's able to withstand heat. Let's see the physics behind this effect. Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that for a metallic conductor at constant temperature, the electric potential between its ends is directly proportional to the current passing through it. V is directly proportional to I. So V over I gives us a constant called R, resistance. The resistance is the measure of the opposition of a conductor to the flow of electric current through it. The higher the resistance of the component, the less the current passing through it for a given voltage. There are four factors that affect the resistance of a conductor. These are the length of the conductor, the cross-sectional area of the conductor, the resistivity of the conductor, and finally, temperature. The length of the conductor directly affects the resistance. The greater the length of the conductor, the larger is the resistance, and the smaller the length is, the smaller the resistance. Cross-sectional area of a conductor affects its resistance inversely. When the conductor is wider, it has a smaller resistance, and when the conductor is narrower, it has a larger resistance. The third factor that affects the resistance of a conductor is the type of material from which the conductor is made. And we represent this property by a variable called resistivity. Resistivity is simply the property of the conductor which makes it to oppose the flow of electric current passing through it. Remember, resistivity is a different variable than resistance. So, the greater the resistivity of the conductor, the greater the resistance, and the smaller the resistivity, the smaller the resistance. The final factor that affects the resistance of a conductor is temperature. Resistance increases with temperature. The greater the temperature, the greater the resistance. You can put this all into one equation, R is equal to resistivity times length divided by area. Now let's see how much energy is converted from electrical to heat energy when a current I passes through a conductor of resistance R. With the help of Ohm's law, the power dissipated in an electric resistance wire can be expressed using this mathematical expression. Power is equal to current squared times resistance, which is equivalent to the voltage squared divided by resistance. Hence, the total amount of energy converted from electrical to heat energy can easily be determined by multiplying the power dissipated in the conductor by the time the current takes to pass through the conductor. Now let's see how the concept that we have discussed so far could be integrated to the process of injera baking. The injera baking pan, or metal in Amharic, is a clay plate of diameter 40 to 60 cm, which uses either biomass, firewood, cow dung, leaves, 
sawdust and electrical power as a source of energy to bake injera, roast coffee, and sometimes toast spices. Just like light bulbs and all the other appliances that we have mentioned earlier, the electric injera method uses the heating effect of electric current for baking process. The electric injera baking pan or method is made from steel or aluminium sheet metal framework having a conical shaped lifting cover, short cylinder enclosed or body, clay plate, an electric heating element, heat insulator, and a support stand. With the help of the equation for power dissipated in electric color resistances, we can calculate the power of consumption of the electric injera method that we are using in our homes. The majority of the locally produced electric injera methods are rated at 3.7 to 4 kilowatt power, which indicates too much of energy consumption. You know, scientists and engineers are trying their best to design the most efficient electric method using the concept of physics that we have discussed today. Finally, let's see some of the practical applications of the heating effects of electric current. Electric bulb. The electric bulb in the figure consists of a fine wire or filament made of tungsten and is placed in a glass bulb containing inner gas. As current travels through the wire of the filament, the filament heats up and emits photons, which are small packets of light. Electric iron. As current passes through a piece of wire, the wire heats up. The heat is distributed to the sole or basal plate of the electric iron through conduction. The heat is the energy with which the clothes will be pressed. Electric stove. As a burner dial on the stove is turned on, current runs through a coil and the material rapidly heats up. This provides us with sufficient energy for cooking purposes. Now, let's summarize what we have learned so far. In today's presentation, we have seen the heating effect of electric current. We have defined resistance as the measure of the degree to which materials impede the flow of electric current induced by voltage. We have also seen the factors that affect the resistance of a conductor. Finally, we have seen how electric methods use power to bake injera. I hope you have enjoyed our presentation. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye, everyone.